Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Black Series action figure review for you today. Is the 42nd edition to The Mandalorian in the Black Series. Um, yeah, really, really quite excited about this one. It's the Imperial Armored Commando. Um, yeah, this is one I wasn't overly in a rush to get. Um, it's taking a, taken a little while, um, but it's a design that didn't really grab me instantly. It's, it's definitely grown on me. Uh, since the debut in Season 3. If you recall, these are Moff Gideon's um, own sort of Mandalorian elite troops. And uh, you know, I was kind of of the opinion when this guy came out that it was like, why would you change the awesome design that the Imperial Commandos had in Rebels? Um, which is only like 10 years before these guys' appearances. But things change. Armor changes. It's a natural sort of progression. Um... It's definitely sort of more imperial than sort of Mandalorian, where they sort of the the troops under Gar Saxon, they were definitely a little bit more Mandalorian aesthetic, more than imperial. Whereas these ones have got the uh, definitely got got the uh, imperial vibe going with a little bit of a uh, little bit of Mandalorian in them. So um, and being made of Beskar as well, I don't know. I'm keen. I'm. I'm thinking maybe having the figure in hand will, uh, will increase my opinion of the uh, and grow my appreciation of the of the armor look. So, without further ado, I mean, before we open it, we'll take a look around the packaging. It's got a cool picture on the side, a little bio on the back. You can check that out and have a pause and have a read. Looks like a pretty cool picture there of him. But besides that, let's bust it open and have a look. All right, folks, here it is out of the packaging, looking pretty damn cool, to be honest. Yeah, I just, just sat and had a look at this guy for a couple of minutes, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to do some discussing, because it is pretty damn cool, I'll be honest. Um, Accessory-wise, does come with his, or her, jetpack. Looks pretty good. Sort of peg system with the two sort of top bars to stop it from spinning around. Looks like you could get some flame effects in there too, if you've got a bunch of those laying around from previous releases. I think the uh, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett had a couple of those flame effects you could pop in the uh, pop in there, which would be cool. We've got, I believe that these are a couple of new blasters, but very, very Star Wars. I'm not sure if we've seen these before, maybe in one of the Andor figures, if I'm remembering correctly, but I'm not sure. I I don't think so. A little silver touch at the uh, at the end there. But that's a cool design, I like it. It's a little bit reminiscent of the uh the clones blaster pistols. So I like it. And then we got a brand new blaster rifle, which is cool. Definitely looks imperial. It's got that, you know, the, the sort of the fold-out stock at the bottom. Looks like the uh, from the E11s. Slightly different to the uh, to the the weapons the uh, Death Troopers use, but this is a cool-looking rifle. I I dig this one a lot, actually. So that's nice, and uh, yeah, I've got a I've got a stand here ready to do the peg test towards the end. But let's get this uh, jetpack on. It's a nice snug fit. That looks good. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. You know, down down the line, we're going to get a Din Djarin probably with this jetpack. So don't be surprised. Vintage collections getting one very soon. But yeah, let's get a look at the figure overall and take a look at the uh, sort of the color scheme and the design. It's got that sort of white, gray, red, some blacks, your typical of the Empire. The flight suit's almost a, a brownie gray, more of a more of a gray, but it's definitely got like a, a brown sort of tinge. I'm sort of saying that in comparison to the gray of the uh, torso armor there. It's a little bit browner, but it's almost a grey-brown. 
But that's cool. It's a nice contrast between them. It's not just a black undersuit, which you know, may or may not have looked cooler, but that's all right. <laughs> but again, I'm liking the... Uh, Bring all the bits and pieces. It feels very Stormtrooper. And Snowtrooper. It's still got that sort of Mandalorian touch to it. And he's got this sort of... I don't know what they are. Again, we haven't had any good visual dictionaries in the last few years. So maybe the latest one that comes out will include this guy in it. And maybe some of the stuff from Mandalorian Season 3. So the, uh, the arm gauntlets there, definitely inspired by the Mandalorians. So this one here, it's got the, uh, the sort of missile on it. All the whispering, whispering birds. Again, paint's nicely applied throughout. Looks good, nice and clean. All newly sculpted by the looks of it for this guy. It's nice, clean, white boots. Overall, looks pretty damn good to me. I don't know, maybe it's the design of the helmet that's getting me. I mean, I like that sort of, you know, flat, like the Mandalorians, and then it sort of tapers down towards the front. I don't know, there's part of me that's that maybe wishes that was a little bit longer, a bit like the Death Trooper, it sort of comes down a little bit further, just dips down, but it looks, it looks fine, I'm, I'm digging it. It just, yeah, maybe it's just the figure, I don't know. And sort of put the angle it down a little bit like that. That sort of looks a bit looks a bit better for me. Again, it's going to take some time. It's uh you know there's always new stuff coming out of Star Wars and you know what we've known for well nearly fifty years you know nearly fifty years since the original Star Wars and it's we're getting lots of new designs, lots of new concepts and ideas. This one almost feels, it's got a little bit of a Joe Johnson sort of vibe about it in terms of the the look of the concept. I would like to just compare him quickly. If I go grab it, the uh, Joe Johnson concept snow trooper, and we'll do a little comparison to sort of see if, see if what I think lines up. A few minutes later. All right, thanks for hanging around for that very br brief little snippet of a second. <laughs> thanks, editing. Uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the sort of the concept snow trooper as designed by Joe Johnson. And I, I don't know, I don't see much comparing the two. It was just something that was in my mind. I'm not sure. But uh, I thought I'd bring it over anyway. But just Yeah, just to sort of show how different things could be if you... You rewind the clock and change time a little bit, but that's cool. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in common, but the fact that they're both sort of Imperials. But yeah, I don't know. The more I have this guy in my hand, the more I like it. I do want to try out the the uh, holster on the side there for the blaster pistol. I would like to get a second one of these. I think just to you know, eventually, I hope we're going to get. Mandalorian Moff Gideon in his armor, I think that'd be great, and just have a couple of these sort of beside him. So yeah, that sits nicely in the holster. That looks good. So articulation-wise, he's got the uh, ball joint in the top of the neck. He's got another ball joint in the bottom of the neck. Ball hinges in the shoulders. He does have that little butterfly joint in there, so you can get get that arm moving all the way forward, which is nice. Ball hinges in the elbows, good range. You know, there is, you can sort of swivel that gauntlet around just below the elbow joint there. So that's nice as well. And an up and down ball hinge on the left hand. 
and the same on the right so that's good I much prefer the up and down to the in and out got a good range of movement there at the torso does have the barbell joint at the hips there no thigh swivel there but that's fine they're sort of I don't know it's a little bit funny they're sort of coming in and out with some figures depending on the figure but the ball joint in the knee ball joint in the ankle there and the rocker in the foot so yeah pretty much standard six inch black series articulation which is fantastic honestly you know let's uh let's arm him up with the uh rifle because i really like the look of this rifle so that's a fantastic design yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take this guy out to the desk while i'm um editing the video and have a little play around and while i'm uploading So I think, yeah, I think a second one of these would be great on the Mando shelf. Let's do the old peg test. It kind of looks shallow, but it's, uh, it may just work. Right, so it goes most of the way in. The uh, Kessel Run action figure stands here. Works pretty damn good. It still holds nice and snug. If you want to know more about these stands, you can just sort of scroll back through my channel or come and check out KesselRunHair.com. We're sort of getting some of these stands all around the world now, which is awesome to see. And they've turned out to be pretty damn good. But yeah, in terms of the figure, this uh, Imperial Armoured Commando, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I think it's, it's very quickly growing on me, this design, this sort of trooper design. It's almost got a... It's got a phase two clone sort of vibe about it almost, which again, natural evolution. But yeah, what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below if you've got some, got some thoughts. So, like I said, I'd love to hear it. And um, yeah, we'll have a, have, a, have a chat down in the comments. Thank you all for coming around and watching, and um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. That'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll see you again very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews. So until then, may the Force be with you always.